folks, I just wanted to share something and maybe you think it's stupid that I'm so excited about this. But um, uh, by the way, first another thing, I just had a very difficult meal for me. Um, and I do want to share that first because I um, wanted to point out why it is difficult and the next time I will feel, film it while I'm eating it and this time I couldn't because I have a friend over here and I don't want to do uh, put him into the picture you know so uh, when I'm alone again and having this I will I will um, film it so you can see me eating it and know that I actually do it but why I find it difficult well I could say that in the next video of course but already is and um, because the dietitian asked me to also eat um, uh, nutri meals so like the the calorie dense meals with extra um, 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 how do you say that minerals and fats and 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 uh, carbs etc and that meals are very easily digested and they are very high calorie and uh, calorie dense and I have now one meal I eat all the time all the time I'm starting to practice eating and um, for me it feels already like uh, I have had three of them now and then I say all the time but of course that's not I'm just starting with it and for me it's it's quite a lot of calories because you can compare it with a, a, a simple normal meal which is for me a lot but this is such a small amount that my body can very easily digest it but the calories are the same like uh, a big pie of cheesecake with whipped cream or a whole uh, tablet of chocolate or something like that and somehow I want pref would prefer that but I know I'm not going to eat that a few times a day and a nutri meal when I practice that it's always the same you know what you have you know that every single calorie is used by your body for the best so for now for my body it is actually the best to have that instead of fun food how we call it um, but it's in my in my eating disorder mind it is very uh, hard to let that go and just to accept that in such a small amount there are so many calories and on the other hand I'm so thankful that this this stuff exists because it could be a life savior for me um, just want to say that I find it hard uh, I just had that meal and um, uh, this time I had a friend to support me it doesn't have to do anything but it helps already for me to say it out loud that I find it hard and for the rest of course it's my responsibility and I just eat it and finish everything and even scratch out the skill because I don't want to miss a milligram of it because I think um, when I do it I do it right and not halfway so that was the first thing and now afterwards I thought well I'm going to do something fun to distract myself and my brother brought me yesterday is this allowed because I don't know I I'm I'm not making any um, reclame is that in English? I don't not doing advertising so maybe I'm not allowed to show it I don't know but maybe I am well anyway it's a selfie stick a three pot stick and um, um, it's with Bluetooth and I'm using it right now so the next time I can just show you while I'm eating and having two free hands so I won't have to stumble like in the last video and it even has um, a remote control so I can just click it and the video starts and click it and the video goes off and I don't have to do anything difficult or something and I'm just so happy with it I, I, I'm totally not somebody who is into any um, things like uh, I have a, a MacBook and I have an Apple phone but you know there are much more things you can use on that and I haven't got a clue how it works and I still don't know how to edit movies on YouTube I have to learn everything from scratch, from scratch but I am willing to and it gives me some distraction so I was just so excited I wanted to tell you that and one other thing because I'm making a video now right away then I can just go on for a little um, I have this one was also nice it's from yesterday and um, it is again a very nice message I see it now um, the wrong way around 
Do you see it now the wrong way around also, that you have to uh, uh, read it backwards? Hmm, okay, uh, something I need to learn as well. But I'm going to translate it for you anyway. Anyway, This one is from Danny K. Also, haven't got a clue who it is. Need to Google him, but to be honest, I didn't Google the last one either. Um, and it says, life is like a big canvas. Throw all the paint on it that you have. And that is a text I love as well. And how I uh, interpre interpret this one, is that an English word? Is interpret, I guess, I don't know, but you, I think you know what I mean. Is that um, we are all plain canvas when we come to this world. And um, it is up to myself, up to you, up to me, what we make of it. And we can make it totally black during our lives. To focus on the negative, to see all the misery, to get yourself down and let other people drag you down in their misery and do that. So then we have a black canvas and stare at that all our lives and be miserable. We can also take that canvas and throw all the colors you can think of on it. Yellow and, and pink and red and... Uh, sometimes you don't feel like it and you think, oh, I, I want to, to keep it a little calm. And I don't know if you know this, but um, um, I will later tell something about my background um, um, scientifically. I have studied a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm a very well studied person and uh, I have a few titles, but I will tell you later about that. And I also took a lot of um, courses and did extra uh, things. And one of it is, is interpreting colors and what colors can do with you. And like green is a calming color. So when I need, need calmness, you can either go to the nature or watch, to, watch uh, something that is green. So I love to watch then, uh, I have also a painting here in front of me that is green. And when I stare at it, it already calms me down. And you know, for example, red is for excitement and it's also for love, of course, and um, higher power spirituality is always uh, purple. So I love purple as well, very much. White is of course standing for having peace and being uh, um, restful. And uh, now every color has its own thing. So you can put on your paint, whatever color um, is you like, of course, and makes you happy, but also what is working for you. And that is what I try to do for myself as well. When I'm very um, down or depressed, I try to focus on all the small positive things uh, in life. And there are so many. And it's, it's, it's strange because here, constantly I know I can die every single moment. And still my mind I, spirituality, spiritually, I have grown so much the last last year, and knowing that death is so close to me, made me even uh, want to live more. And the only way I can feed that is by feeding myself with the positive things. And um, for example, when I go in the shower and for the first time I had to have somebody else shower me, that is, I can't explain how horrible that is to accept, that I can't do that myself, that somebody else is seeing my body and um, I don't have um, anorexia like most people, I will explain it later. I see that I'm very skinny and I'm feeling so sorry for my body. And it's so hard to see myself in the mirror because I, I don't recognize myself. This is not my face. This is not my body. This is not Angelic. No way. No, at, not at all. And I would love to, to see myself again and to show you how I am supposed to be. But it's not, I'm far from there yet. Um, but I could focus on the negative and think, oh, how horrible they will see me and now they will, will be in shock for the rest of the day because there's no other people, person that is so skinny, literally, because with a BMI of nine, you can't live. Uh, usually, I should have been dead for, for, for years and I'm still alive. So 
I know that, but what I did is I focused on feeling the warm water and um, um, that somebody was touching me lovingly because the sister was really loving and, and uh, I'm so thankful for her. And that she could help me shower because I wasn't able to do so for two weeks and that feels horrible, you know, and then somebody could help me with it. And I was crying all the time in the shower, but not because I was so scared, ashamed, etc. But because I was so thankful that I could have a shower and feel that warm water on my body again. And that is what I mean by um, throw all the paint you have on your canvas. Sometimes it can be too hard. Then I just want to put all that is black on it and brown and dark and nasty and dirty and just put all the, that on the canvas and then my canvas will be that day like that. But when I'm able and even with my whole canvas is black and I can put a few yellow, pink and red spots on it, then I will just look at those pink, yellow and red spots and try to leave the black ones a little uh, out of sight and focus on that and grasp that and make it through the day by focusing on that. And there are some days that half of my canvas is black and half of my canvas is like a little blue, green, calm. Then I focus on that and then it's okay as well. So everything is okay, but I know that I am myself in charge of what I put on my canvas. Life doesn't only happen to you. Circumstances happen. Life doesn't. You have a lot of own power and decisions to make and um, uh, choices to make um, that can influence whatever happens. So um, that is what I wanted to share. I actually wanted to, to make just a short video on having my uh, tripod selfie stick, but now it's a longer one. But um, yeah, happy to share it with you and um, looking forward to see you next time. Bye bye.